again, I just want to show you guys a traditional frame mat layer so you know exactly what it is. And I've been wanting to show you one of these for a long time because I just haven't been able to get them. But this is going to be exactly what it is. You can do them on a step, you can do them on obviously on a flatbed, pretty much any trailer where they can get them. Now if you notice, see the bolts here? For you folks that don't know what they are, these are all bolted together. There's a big bolt running through. So all these are one bundle, each one right here. Now it's right in the center there, it looks like about five boards across. Some of them are like four. So they got them all bundled together and they lay them down in front of the big tracks of these huge cranes. That's so they don't sink in the ground. And that's for pipe build, pipeline building, pretty much any construction. It doesn't matter. So I wanted to show you what's going on. A lot of times they'll do uh, a little bit more forward or back and then they'll have just a gap with no, no uh, 4x4s up here but I had to do it in this particular case. Not a problem. Six 4x4s. Uh, I always run my straps over the center. I like to have a couple right there. And they were pushed a little bit further to the rear so I, straps are not as even as normally be. But at least now you get to see what the heck it is. So this is uh, quite the load. So when you load these things, if you guys are going to pick them up, you just got to make sure that they're even down here. A guy did a great job. He'll put a bundle on and he'll put another bundle down over here. Then another one and then another one. So you just got to make sure they get tipped back and forth, whatever's needed. Now, everything is legal. You know, it's all inside of the rail because that's the only thing you want to make sure, especially when you tighten down. So if you got stuff like this, I wouldn't worry about it because it's just, it's just floppy. So, if it looks like it's going to fall off, take it off. If it looks like you got huge amounts of mud, which sometimes you're going to get some of these, they're going to be just full of mud and rocks. Try and take the time and scrape that crap off of there. That's going to end up in somebody's windshield. I went over it and I scraped everything down. I tossed dirt off to the side, did the best I could. Some of it's frozen, so I couldn't really do anything. So let's just hope that it doesn't, you know, cause any problems. But you know, it's pretty muddy, so be prepared. Some of these places you're going to go, it's just going to be um, a slurry pit. But in this particular case, it was a great yard. The guy that had to operate the equipment was in a little bit of a muck. They just had a heavy snow down southern Wyoming in the I-80 area, and it was just basically all, all the highways are shut down. Now, all work and no play? Forget that. We're going to have some scenery. Check this out, folks. Pinedale, Wyoming. Museum of the Mountain Man. We're just going to take a little bit of time here. Smell the coffee. Check out this scenery. Ain't this great? Lots of wind. Now in Wyoming, like I said before, the wind sock is a log chain on a bolt. So you got a lot of wind. The mountain men were here. They were up in my area in Montana. Let's check that out. Ain't that something? It's quite the valley. Hot ticket. Well, equipment's coming. It's going to get really loud in a bulldozer. Not too bad, but it's really nice here, so I just figured I'd show you. Here's the old truck, ready to rock and roll. I just changed all my fuel lines. Everybody's happy. I've had a lot of problems with uh, bad fuel lines and material in my fuel, but I survived. The old girl's still running. I just rebuilt my door. Hard time with a closing. Put a new hit, brand new uh, latch on, a new striker, and a brand new door panel. Look at that. Close is nice. A lot better than what it was before, I'll tell you that right now. So, I won't keep you. 
we're gonna call the customer at the other end, tell them we're coming, get some directions. I got all weekend to get there. Um, they moved my load up from Saturday to Friday. No biggie. So it's all good. You folks have a great day. And I wanted to show you a traditional uh, crane mat load. See you down the road.